Macmillan Audio presents Mr. Know-It-All, The Tarnished Wisdom of a Filth Elder by John Waters Read for you by the author Dedication He Knows Mr. Know-It-All Somehow, I became respectable. I don't know how. The last film I directed got some terrible reviews and was rated NC-17. Six people in my personal phone book have been sentenced to life in prison. I did an art piece called Twelve Assholes on a Dirty Foot, which is composed of close-ups from porn films, yet a museum now has it in their permanent collection and nobody got mad. What the hell has happened? I used to be despised, but now I'm asked to give commencement addresses at prestigious colleges, attend career retrospectives at both the Film Society of Lincoln Center and the British Film Institute, and I even got a medal from the French government for furthering the arts in France. This cockeyed maturity is driving me crazy. Suddenly, the worst thing that can happen to a creative person has happened to me. I am accepted. How can I struggle when my one-time underground movies are now easily available? Even Multiple Maniacs was rehabilitated music rights-wise and is back in theatrical release from Janus Films, the original distributor of Godard and Truffaut movies, for God's sake. Pink Flamingos has played on television. How can I whine about my films being hard to see when Warner Brothers now handles many of my titles? And Criterion, the classiest of all DVD distributors, is restoring some of my rudest celluloid atrocities. Even the Museum of Modern Art now has in their collection the elements of my earliest 8mm movies that have never been formally released. And geez, seven of the books I've written are still in print, and two of them became New York Times bestsellers. How could that be? How? I can't even impersonate a damaged artist anymore. I have actually had friends for 50 years, and some of my dinner dates are not tax-deductible for business, the sign of really having a successful personal life. Knock on wood, I'm in good health. Good Lord, I'm 73 years old and my dreams have come true. Couldn't you just puke? Success is not the enemy. You may think it is when you're young. But if it comes too quickly, it can be a high-class problem. Yes, you should feel slightly panicked if your insane early work is taken seriously without any initial resistance. But know that being a starving artist is an outdated concept. There's nothing wrong with making money from doing something you love. You can be happy and fucked up and still triumph, I promise you. But suppose you're still failing, struggling unsuccessfully to find your voice. You should ask yourself, am I the only person in the world who thinks what I'm doing is important? If yes, well, you're in trouble. You need two people to think your work is good, yourself and somebody else, not your mother. Once you have a following, no matter how limited, your career can be born. And if you make enough noise, those doors will begin to open. And then, and only then, can you soar to lunatic superiority. Mr. Know-It-All is here to tell you exactly how to live your life from that day forward. I'm never wrong. Just ask Joan Rivers. Well, you can't because she's dead, but when she was alive, I introduced her to a date after we watched her perform in Provincetown, and she said to him, Are you with John? When he replied yes, she advised just do everything he tells you to do. Joan knew I was infallible. She knew it raw. First of all, accept that something is wrong with you. It's a good start. Something has always been wrong with me, too. We're in a club of sorts, the lunatic fringe who are proud to band together. There's a joyous road to ruin out there, and if you let me be your garbage guru, I'll teach you how to succeed in insanity and take control of your low self-esteem. Personality disorders are a terrible thing to waste. Being crazy in a happy, creative way begins and ends with your family. No matter how hard you try, as you get older, you turn into a twisted version of your mom and dad. 